Welcome back to Studio One. Now it's time to talk chocolate with fitness expert Bernadette Abraham and she joins us right now. Bernadette, welcome to our show. Thanks. Right. To I'm, I'm <laughs> super, super duper excited to have you on the show tonight because I think you will be putting a huge smile on not just mine but almost everyone's face out there because recent research shows that chocolate can help enhance your mood and can also be can also help you get slimmer is it any true is it any true <laughs> chocolate's good yeah. for you okay the answer is yes and no mm. it really all depends mm. not all chocolates are created equal it really depends on what are the ingredients in the chocolate you need to look at that mm -hmm. what state is it in is it organic or not and how has it been processed any heating mm. will destroy nutrients mm. in food mm. so you, you need to look at that before you consider mm. what type of chocolate you're going to eat mm. now if you're going to look at the cacao fruit itself. That's what chocolate is made from. The beans in there are extremely, extremely beneficial for you. It's referred to as the food for gods. Mm. And for example, it's really high in antioxidants, so it's good for anti-aging. Mm -hmm. It's extremely high in sulfur, so it's good for the hair and nails. Mm -hmm. It's also high in magnesium. So for women, mm -hmm. um, their monthly cycles, that's why they tend to crave chocolate because it could be due to a magnesium deficiency. Mm -hmm. It also has tryptophan and mm -hmm. other mood enhancers. So yes, it does mm -hmm. help with your mood and that's why most people crave it. Mm -hmm. Um, the thing is to know how to choose what type of chocolate. So choosing that, so cacao is good for you, but naturally it's quite a bitter taste, isn't it, cacao, yes, the actual the bean raw, itself? Yes, right, exactly. So what do we get into, how do we get cacao into our body? What are the good sort of chocolates to be looking out for? Well, you need to look at the different forms that are available. Right. So I have here um, basically all the types of chocolates that you can find in the supermarkets um, yeah. and and other stores yeah. uh, and all those details will be on your Facebook page correct because well, these are all available in Dubai yeah. so basically it's always best to have raw foods okay. so if you can have the bean or nibs which is like a crushed up form of, of the bean that's great you could sprinkle it over cereals or make a trail mix out of it oh, as well so that would have the most beneficial property because it hasn't been processed it's, it's just its raw form the next would be the cocoa powder Raw cocoa powder in this form here yep. is extremely beneficial for you as well. The next would be... But well, you can't just have it like that. You'd be <laughs> mixing it with what? You could mix it with coconut water, okay. make a smoothie out of okay. it, throw in okay. banana and yep. ice, crush it up. It's a great post-workout. Yeah, it would be a great post-workout mm -hmm. um, drink because it's high in magnesium, the potassium for the banana, great to replenish electrolytes. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. So moving on, obviously you want to choose dark chocolate because obviously if it has more of the cocoa in it, you're going to have more of those beneficial properties that I talked about. So a chocolate that's at least 70% cocoa or higher mm. would have more benefits. And when you're talking about those, uh, you're looking for the percentages, if they are available, etc. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so look at the percentages. All yeah. Right, cool. And then you would have the unsweetened baking chocolate. Mm. Then we move on to semi-sweet chocolate chips. Mm. And then um, finally you would have milk chocolate. Now there's but a big difference from there to here. Yeah. Because in that form, you're adding sugar, maltodextrin, high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated fats, which make it last longer. Those are all the bad things for you. There's probably chemical agents, binding agents, flavors, mm. things to make it taste like milk or not like milk or like orange. Mm. You have all these other types of flavors. Mm. So there's a big difference in that type of chocolate or in this form here that has a lot of the beneficial properties. Okay. Okay, so basically you can't just walk into a supermarket and grab any chocolate and say, oh, this can make me happy and help me get slim. No, but you actually have to study the label and see what, what all goes into it. So Absolutely. how can we do that once we go to a supermarket? What should we look out for? Obviously, to get the most benefits, you want to make sure that the cocoa percentage is the highest. So 70% or higher. There's a recent study that's shown that if you eat uh, about seven grams of dark chocolate every day that it does have beneficial properties. It helps reduce inflammation and reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Now, if you're diabetic though, or you're someone who's overweight or wants to lose weight, then you have to know that there still is sugar in dark chocolate, which can raise your insulin levels. So you do need to be aware of that and not think, okay, this is great for me so I can have it every day. Mm. You do need to be concerned with that. It's chocolate, but yes. not as we know it. I mean, the, the, the cacao powder that you've got here, uh, this is obviously the best, of the, the first in line, the best in line. Cacao butter as well. We're hearing a lot about sort of butters, almond butters and cacao butters mm -hmm. as well. But where do we get hold of this sort of stuff? I mean, how does one get their hands on this? Um, on your Facebook page, yeah. I guess there'll be a link to which stores are... So you're ordering you them in or get the... the you, 
that's the best way to go, the right. specialist stores. Yeah? Right, exactly. Okay, right. You're not going to be picking, picking them up off the shelves. Okay. Um, the raw, unprocessed, that's the thing. You have to look at how it's been processed. This is really raw, organic, hasn't mm. been processed. The okay. heat will really ruin the food. Mm. So these have been, um, yeah. mm. cool. they're wary of that. Okay, Bernadette, last question. Is there any kind of chocolate we should completely avoid? <laughs> <laughs> what type of chocolates do you like? <laughs> <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Again, I would say milk chocolates are the ones that you would want to try and stay with at least because they're the ones that have the most junk mm -hmm. ingredients in them. That's you why they taste so good. Exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the ones that taste really, really good, right? Listen, we're being quite strict here. We're letting people know what is the best and, and the, the properties of others. But in terms of chocolate per se, moderation, would that be the sort of word through to people at the moment? I mean, I think all people know that chocolate's not great in huge quantities. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A little bit. A little bit, and <laughs> if you are going to have it, then make sure that the, the amount of cocoa in it is a higher percentage, right. Mm. right? And just know that, you know, don't eat chocolate thinking that it has all those beneficial properties. You can get them from your fruits and vegetables that are also high in antioxidants like blueberries and mm. red grapes, really mm. high in flavanols and yeah. apples and oranges. So, so don't believe everything the papers tell you. When you turn on the news in the morning, they say, reports say that chocolate is good for you. <laughs> well, there was a, a study, interestingly enough, there was a study done that said, yes, eating chocolate every day uh, was very good for you. But if you look at who, the, who, who that study was conducted by, it was, it was a chocolate uh, manufacturer. <laughs> oh. So a little bit biased, I think. <laughs> good news, good news. Uh, bless you. Thanks so much indeed for Thank that. You. Uh, Thank you. Some good, sound advice. Sweet stuff. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you. Uh, right, let's head over to uh, Roman and see.